What's up guys, Gums and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2023 for episode number 55 of the Dry Pack Jaguar career mode. Before we start, thank you for the support on the previous episode, episode 54. Uh, it's the first out of 10 right now on my YouTube studio by a massive, massive mile. So thank you for the support. Uh, I guess you enjoy this save or seeing me lose. Which will happen today as we begin the fourth and final Grand Tour of this season, La Vuelta a España. It is, I believe, the 2021 route. Um, it's not the route I wanted to do, if I'm being honest. Uh, I was hoping to find a variant I used on PCM 2020. Now, for those who followed me for a long time, I did a career with Williams Martini called Redemption Ride. On episode 35 to 37, uh, I faced off against the Timo Bourbanki of uh, our beloved Tim Sorsky. And I cannot, for the life of me, find that fucking variant. Uh, it started with the Team Time trial in Jerez de la Frontera, I think. And it ended with a time trial in Santiago de Compostela. If any one of you know this variant, has a link to it, just let me know. Because I can't find it and I wanted to just come back to that variant because I have a revenge to take with. But either way, uh, as I said, 2021 variant, so we begin in Burgos and we'll finish in Santiago de Compostela. Seven stages today, let's go. And as I said, we begin with the time roll in Burgos. Uh, quick look at our lineup, Ruben Wolf, sorry no, Matthew Wolf, Ruben Thompson, Nick Schultz, Alistair McKella, John Hopkins, Aaron Gates, Edwin Noir and Finn Fisher Black. My two leaders are Edwin Noir and Finn Fisher Black. Currently it is a fitness peak for Edgy, but not for Finn who just won the Arctic Race of Norway. Two riders who you should not expect anything from. Are Matthew Walls and Ruben Thompson. Uh, they respectively have 61 and 70, I think, in fitness uh, as they're coming back from injury. They're here because I wanted to fill some numbers and uh, most of my team already has 60 or between 55 and 60 race days. So that's why they're there. Uh, last thing, this is a message to all stage makers. Is there a reason as to why there's not that many Vuelta variants? Because there's, there's plenty Tour de France variants, plenty Giro. Vuelta-wise, the only one I could find on PCM mode, I think it's Zoran, which I have done last year, I think, or two years ago. So, could we have more Vuelta variants? I know it takes time, and this is me asking, even though I've I've never done it. But, yeah, like I think the two countries who deserve to have more variants are Spain and Australia. If we could have a Grand Tour in Australia by the end of this save which is going to be around May, June, even though May I'm not going to be able to record a lot. That'd be great. So thank you. Across the line for Eddie Dunbar, the Irish TT champion. It's seven seconds behind Rune Herregotz. I'll take that. And here begins our GC leader for this race, Finn Fisher Black. I choked on the Giro. I definitely choked on the Tour de France. I can't go for the 3P, can I? Like, that would just, to be fair, it would be very much me to go on the 3P, but I, I really don't want to do so. So, Finn and Edgy have a lot of weight on their shoulders. The sponsor of Rexy, by the way, is a, is a stage win, I believe. Um, so we'll see if we can achieve that. It's 21 seconds down on Tim and Arantzman in uh, Burgos. Let's take a look at the start list, shall we? Uh, Anthony Tiberi, Thomas Glogue. Arensman, I'm gonna guess Igor Arrieta, who I just defeated in uh, the Arctic Race, Mikel Landa, Buitrago, there's some good riders. I'm not seeing Tadej Pogacar, which is good. After uh, an all right time trial, we begin the road part of the Vuelta with the sprint stage between Cale Ruega and Burgos. 164 kilometers, it is a terrible, a terrible fitness for Matthew Walsh. Uh, the same applies to Aaron Gate. Oh, he's, he's had a bit of a stinker for Aaron. Okay, well, I'm not going to sprint today. We just made our train to uh, avoid being dropped in some uh, echelons or broken groups or anything. We will not sprint, even though I've managed to find a, a way back in the, the, the leaders. No, I haven't. Let's, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I will just pace 88 with Ruben Thompson until the end. Who takes the stage then in Burgos? It's going to be a battle between, it seems, Red Bull and Eneko Kolorit. Who's this? Uh, Jensen Plowright, we've got Milan Menten, we've got Dylan Renoveren, Renoveren, Axel Laurence, Andersen, still Renoveren, still Renoveren, he's, he sprinted 5 kilometers ago, it's a win for Dylan Renoveren. Yeah, well done, well done. 
And our first mountain stage begins here. It's actually a medium mountain stage between Santo Domingo de Silos and the Pico Blanco. Uh, plus five for Edge Dunbar is zero for Finn Fisher Black. I need to very quickly make a decision here between Finn and Edgy. The better stats are with Finn, and I know he's going to peak during the Vuelta, or at least I really hope he's going to peak during the Vuelta. But Edgy Dunbar has a plus five today. And he's better placed in the GC. This is this is a tricky tricky situation. And I've got one good teammate in Nick Schultz, because Ruben Thompson actually is not that bad. I'm gonna start the Picon Blanco. I am terribly positioned. Uh the the previous hill did a lot of damage to my uh, to my team, the Alto de Bocos. Uh as you can see with these four riders being at the back of the pack here. Uh so yeah, I think my uh, chances of taking the stage today are done because it's a very, very narrow climb towards the end. We've got an attack by Maxim Van Gels, the uh, young Belgian, I mean young Belgium, I guess, in real life. Uh oh, already a group of eight? Oh yeah, we're done. Oh the Peloton stopped. Oh I see, that's cool. That's that's cool. The peloton stops pacing. Safe. Right, 5k to go and we're a minute and a half down. Tell you what, Edge Dunbar is doing quite well. Edge Dunbar is trying everything he can to try and come back on the lead. Six. We've got Nikelanda, Antonio Tiberi, Jonas Gregor, Van Gels, Kemna, Welke Kelderman. Nikelanda is on his own. Is, is Landa gonna go for the back-to-back? -back? No. No, he's not. Van Gels versus Landa versus Tiberi. And coming back from the ashes is Eddie Dunbar, the Irish rider. He's gonna... I'm gonna get the stage here. At this rate, Eddie Dunbar is gonna get the stage. Yep. Eddie Dunbar, after a remarkable turning of events, is gonna get the stage at the Pico Blanco and take the lead of La Vuelta España. Did not expect that to happen, but I will happily, happily take it. Easy win from Eddie Dunbar, and Finn Fisher Black is actually going to finish... Alongside Tiberi, Landa, and Van Gels, it could even be a podium position. It is a podium position. A very good stage. A very good recovery for my team today. Very, very good recovery. Some more sprints today. Uh, as we take a look at the GC, we sit P1, a minute 10 ahead of Landa already, and 117 on Finn Fischer Black. It's actually all right. It's actually very good. Uh, because as uh, I'm, st I'm still not sure who I'm going to favor GC-wise. But I've put myself in a very, very good position as we head to Molina de Aragon today. Um, <laughs> so I was preparing the sprint uh, just to make sure that I don't lose everything. And I had my phone rest on my PS4 controller. You can play PCM on the controller. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but you can because uh, I've prepared the train using the joystick. Th I, that's just one thing I, I wanted to, 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 I wanted to be known. I wanted it to be known that you can play PCM on a PS4 controller. God, I, I don't know if you can play that with a wheel. Oh, if you can't play this with a wheel, then, then this is gonna be so fun. Actually attack with like the accelerating pedal. This is just vibes. What's going on? Okay, now that's better. I thought I was gonna win a sprint for a second. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Eddie? Okay, no, it's fine. Uh, th th what are you doing, brother? Casper! No, Mads, you are... Not even on the podium. He's P okay, he's P2. Well done, Mats. Well done. Second time I'm playing this stage. Uh, you won't have seen the first attempt. There was 8k to go, a group of 12, including four of my riders. Uh, but the game crashed. So we're going back at it again. The race days are a lot worse in this instance. So it's not going to be as good. Halfway through uh, this uh, particularly windy stage... 43 riders in the lead group, 7 of them are in my team. I think when I last did the IS, it was a group of 16. So we are far from the level I've achieved, but I also have more riders than on the previous attempt. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure whether that does something or not. Uh, that's another scenario I did not see coming, but uh, we've got a, we've got Nick Schultz, Eddie Dunbar and Finn Fisher Black in the lead group. Then a group of 28, where we still have the likes of Mikel Landa. Now, in my previous attempt, it was just sprinters. The main GC favorites were more than four minutes behind. So I'm very sad that uh, that attempt has disappeared, especially knowing that this is most likely going to end up in a mass sprint, because the wind section ends now. And I think this group is going to come back under the impulsion of the Polka jersey of last year's winner, Mikel Landa. We're going to get the gel with Eddie and Finn. <sighs> yeah, I think we're going to lose this. Well, at least we're not going to get as good or as 
bigger gap I would have had if it hadn't been for PCM 2023 crashing by uh, by by mistake, I guess. We're gonna sprint with Finn Fisher Black. Can we hold off Matt Pedersen and Alessandro Corvey? I believe we can. It's gonna be a win for the white jersey of Finn Fisher Black. We have created some gaps, but definitely not with the riders I wanted to create gaps with. And we've got some hills today between Requena and the Alto de la Montaña de Cullera. Alright, it's uh, your typical welter stage. It goes down, 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 flat, 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 uphill. It's not as big a repetro as it usually is on La Vuelta, but it's good enough. GC was, um, we sit a minute ahead of Finn Fisher Black, who's overtaken Mikel Arnay yesterday. Shout out to David Goodwin in P5. Did not see him at all during this, uh, this, this four year save, but there he is. Uh, P10 is already five minutes behind. Okay. I guess the danger comes from Landa, Thomas Glogue, Antoine Tiberi, and David Godu. So that would make me a contender for P5. We are pacing thoroughly with Aaron Gate and now with Ruben Thompson. Uh, I'm doing this just like I usually would prepare a sprint. Um, Schultz, Finn Fisher Black, Dunbar. I'm gonna call it right here, right now. It's gonna be a hat trick. It's gonna be Finn Fisher Black taking the stage ahead of Nick Schultz and Eddie Dunbar. Uh, you can obviously make your predictions in the comments right now. That's why I've gone to times once. You've got type, or time, sorry, to type as Dylan Hopkins heads into the right hander, final two kilometers there. Good, uh, good lines by, uh, by Dylan Hopkins, clearly he's, uh, he studied the track guide. He's gonna launch Alistair Makela with one kilometer remaining. We've got an acceleration on the left, sorry, by Antonio Tiberi. There goes Makela, there goes Nick Schultz, there goes Finn Fisher Black, there goes Eddie Dunbar. It is going to be a 1-2-3, I just got the order wrong. It's going to be Nick Schultz ahead of Eddie Dunbar and Finn Fisher Black for a 1-2-3 here at the Alto de la Montaña. One way for stage number 7, the final stage of the episode between Gandia and the Balcon de Alicante. A second medium mountain stage in this episode after stage number 3 where Eddie Dunbar had taken the lead. Eddie is still well and truly in the lead of this general classification. Alright, alright, um... We'll see what happens. Um, it is a stage that could genuinely suit me. Plus 5 for Eddie Dunbar, plus 2 for Finn Fisher Black. Uh, 97 fitness for Finn Fisher Black, but that's good because he was on 92 as we began the race. So he is moving up. Uh, Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, 70 kilometers remaining. We are halfway through this stage and we're nearing the summit of the Puerto de Tudons. Uh, Ruben, if you wouldn't mind not dropping, that would be great. Because uh, Christopher Alvorsen has had a longer uh, life than you've had in this peloton. Peloton of 147 riders where four riders of my team have already disappeared. I think that's going to be one of the issues with this team on the long run is the clear lack of support. As soon as the road goes up, uh, apart from Nick Schultz and on the good day, Alistair Makela, this team is quite weak, um, so for now there's no mountain, so it's alright, but as soon as uh, actual mountains will arrive, not sure I'll be very, very good. Jan Christen with his 82 mountain has just crashed, but the Swiss champion is back in the peloton. Peloton trailing 237 behind the breakaway of Laurentius Rune Herogotz and Christian Rodriguez. Uh, we've got Ashparen, Paré Pantre and Barguil who just crashed, I think. Very similar stats, wow. Okay, uh, but yeah, Edgy and Finn easily, easily in the peloton as Jake Stewart hits the ground. Surprisingly, Nick Schultz got dropped here. Uh, he was protecting Finn and he just exploded, which uh, I'm not a fan of. Uh, thank God for Alistair Makela able to protect Eddie Dunbar and Finn Fisher Black in the final 14 kilometers of this stage as we cross the uh, summit of the Puerto de Tibi. No one is going to attack in the peloton. It is Tish Benot leading away. I'm not sure why. Uh, Van Gils? Yeah, Van Gils most likely. Eddie Dunbar is going to slow down his rhythm, recover some energy. Finn is getting water and we are ready, as ready as we can be at least, for the Balcon de Alicante. And to quote Fabrizio Romano, here we go. Acceleration immediately by Mikel Landa, the current P3 of the GC, does not want to wait. And he doesn't want to waste any precious time. Van Gils follows with Mares. Don't know who you are. And Santiago Umba. Groschartner is pacing everyone together for his leader, Thomas Gloger, in uh, this UAE, uh, this Austrian champion jersey of the UAE. 
5k to go, we are in the, or we are approaching the tough portion of the climb as David Godu is going for a move and Fischerback is going to protect Lady Dunbar immediately. And once again, here we go. We're in the toughest portion, 3.4k to go. Gel on Finn Fisher Black, increase the rhythm on Eddie Dunbar. What should I do? Should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I kind of want to attack. 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 We're gonna... We're gonna attack with Dunbar. We're gonna stop pacing with Finn. Go like a solid 875 rhythm. See what happens. Go 91 with Eddie. Use the gel. Finn is by far, I think Finn is the best rider in the second group as well. So we should be fine. I'm gonna let Eddie have fun in the lead. And we're gonna let Van Gels, Thomas Glog, Godu, Umba, and not Mikel Landa anymore try to pace us back. Very solid rhythm by Maxim Van Gels, but not close at all to Eddie Dunbar, who crosses the final kilometer with half a minute on this group. And it's gonna be another win here on this Vuelta for Eddie Dunbar. We are walking on this Vuelta. We are making the Spanish Grand Tour our bitch. As Van Riedel gets P3 and, sorry, P2 and P3 for Finn Fisher Black. Good, good, good. The big loser today. Well, Landismo is truly dead as he loses 1 minute 40. And um, I think we're going to have 3 minutes on P3. Comes the end of episode 1 of week 1. Eddie Dunbar leads ahead of Finn Fisher Black. And our first uh, non drapak Jaguar contender is Mikel Landa. 3 minutes and 10 seconds behind. As we are yet to have the first mountain stage. That will arrive in the second stage of the next episode. At the Alto de Verifique. Then medium mountain. Medium mountain. Ma hills. We'll have a mountain stage here. We'll have another mountain stage here. That's, that's 3. That is 4 with the Lagos de Covadonga. That is 5 with the Alto del Gamoniteru. Uh, and that's it. So five mountain stages in this race. Okay, points-wise, we are leading. Mountain-wise, we are leading. Best and water, we are leading. Best team, we are leading. This is a clean sweep of Drapak Jaguar. And I am now trying to figure out how I'm going to lose this in the coming episodes. The second episode should arrive on Sunday. The third one on the next Wednesday. Uh, and then there may be a bit of a break as uh, I will be in Italy covering the Italian races for RCS. So I don't know if I'll have time to prepare a lot of uh, videos up ahead. There are all of the experiments, the shit things I'm doing right now should arrive around those around that time. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But if you want to see the second week of this Vuelta, then feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't so already. If you haven't the video, leave a like down below. And I'll catch you in the very, very near future. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. <laughs> see ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on girl and don't you ever laugh